Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be doing a different kind of video today. I got something called Disney Lorcana trading cards. Um, forever ago they released these. I want to say it was back in like September or something like that. And um, a lot of people um, were talking about them and were like, oh my god, these things are really cool. But um, a big thing about them was they're Disney and Disney adults are kind of crazy. So they sold out in a lot of places like almost immediately and um, i always wanted to try to find them but i could never find them literally anywhere and um i work literally at a store that sells them and um even then never i would never be able to find them even like the day they go in stock or whatever and i know they go in stock that by the time i get off of work they will already be sold out which is crazy to me but for the first time ever i was able to get some because the guy who stocked them um uh, what's it called had like three cases more than he usually does or something like that and i was like oh my god today's my chance so i got three little trading packs of disney lorcana and um i have no idea exactly what they are i don't know the concept um but i'm gonna open them and uh, yeah we're gonna, we're gonna have fun with this so um i've never done a card opening video before so i don't know how exactly to record this so bear with me Alrighty, so I got these cards here. Um, I don't even know how to open these actually, so I'm gonna quickly try to struggle and figure out how to open them, and then I will meet up with you guys once I have figured that part out. Alrighty, so we got that open. Look at that little card part pack. That is adorable. It is Mickey. Um, like I said, this is a trading card game. I think that there's a game that goes with it, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, so first off, it says "Vicious Betrayal," and it's a uh, the long live the king moment from the Lion King. Then we got Mufasa, we have Abu, Timon, very exciting, Tinkerbell. Um, I have no idea what any of these things mean. This is the first one that has a five, right? That's Oh no, that one has a six. I have no idea. Uh, what's it called? I'm going to base this off of like Pokemon cards because I know how Pokemon cards work. There's a five up top. I think that's a good number. And then those threes look like good numbers, but I am not entirely sure. Um, unless it's like a dice game. Do you need dice for this game? I have no idea how this works. Kristoff... Um, coconut basket? I'm gonna be totally honest with you, I might be a fake fan. I have no idea what this is from. Like, no idea. Um, then we have Ariel. Very exciting. Kronk. Emperor's New Groove. That's iconic, I love it. Um, then we have Stitch. Oh, those numbers look great. Like I said, I have no idea how this game works, and I'm probably gonna say that 17 times, I'm so sorry. But like, 4 and 6 looks really good. 6 looks really good. Is he, like, a really good card? Because he kind of seems like a really good card. Mickey Mouse, the most overpowered character ever. Captain Hook, and oh, that's a foil. Oh, that's a foil card. Is it supposed to be a foil card? Yo, that's so pretty. And then uh, I think that that's just like a design card that's at the end of all of them. Very cute, though. Um, Now we got... These two are different kinds. Though That one was... What's it called? The first chapter. And now these say Rise of the Bloodborne or Floodborne. So um, once again, I need to figure out how to open these up. And then I'll meet you guys when I'm ready with these packs. Alrighty, so I went and got them open, and look at that. It's the uh, Ray of the Last Dragon little cover art. I think that both of them are the same cover art for these packs, so very interesting. But let's go ahead and dive right into this. So, right off the bat, we have James. That is Tiana's dad. Interesting. Um, the Evil Queen. Love it. Beautiful. Um, Croquet Mallet? Oh. That's from Alice in the Wonderland. I... I did not recognize that, like, at all, but that's interesting. Um, uh, Peter Pan's Dagger, I love it. That's a really cool weapon. Um, Flynn Rider, whoa. I love Flynn Rider. Um, what's it called? Prince Naveen. Damn, I just got, like, the two best love interests in Disney movies. I could be wrong, but, like, that's my opinion, so please don't attack me. Um, Lawrence, dude from Princess and the Frog. So I've got a lot of Princess and the Frog ones in this one, actually. That's interesting. Bucky, uh, I'm going to be totally honest, don't attack me here. Do not recognize this guy. Is he from... Okay, I'm thinking he's from one of the Tinkerbell movies, but I could be completely wrong. I have no idea. Yzma, whoa, so I got two Emperor's New Groove things. That's actually pretty cool. I'm very happy about that. Um, the Grand Duke, is that Cinderella? I'm assuming that's Cinderella. At first I was about to say, I thought he was the Duke of Wesselton from Frozen, and I was like, that's wrong. <gasps> Cogsworth, that's me! I was literally that guy. What's it called? When I was a, a freshman in high school, we did the Beauty and the Beast play, and I was Cogsworth. And a uh, funny story about that, my uh, theater teacher used me as an example one day, because after the first show, she was like, you guys need to make sure you're staying in character the entire time you're on stage. And then she was just like, 
Blake is really good at it because the entire time he's very like nervous and jittery because he's staying in character and in reality um I was actually scared shitless so it was real anxiety but she thought I was just trying to be Cogsworth and I was like yeah for sure that's what I'm doing um and then we got sardine can which I have no idea what that's from and then just another little concept card and then we have one more Okay, and then the last one, let me get the cards out. Hold up. Doo -doo -doo. <gasps> I got Mulan. Yo, that's pretty sick. I love it. Donald Duck. Cute. I love it. Basil. First I first off, I know I definitely pronounced that wrong. Second off, I have no idea what that's from. Um, hold still. That's a quote. He, oh, she says that. I was about to say he says that, man. I literally was just talking about how I was in Beauty and the Beast. I love it. Iconic. Beautiful. Oh, is that like a health card for this game? One day I'm gonna look up how this game works so that, you know, if I ever actually want to do something with these cards, I can. And oh my god, I got a Frozen character. I was wondering what the characters would look like if they're characters who are usually in 3D, but they're not. That's very interesting. And I love the little horse. It's beautiful. Ninja. Um, oh, okay. For a second, I thought that that was Milan's dad. I realized that's the guy from Rhea's The Last Dragon. That's her... Paw, is that what she calls him? I think. Something like that. Queen of Hearts. Iconic. Great villain. Robin Hood. Iconic. Great character. Love that movie. It's so underrated. Um, The Cheshire Cat. Beautiful. Love it. The Beast. His song in the live action. <sighs> Chef's Kiss. Uh, and then The Evil Queen. Absolutely beautiful. And then, oh, one more. And it is, once again, a reverse howl hollow. Little Owl from Alice in Wonderland, I believe. I love it. I love it. And then last little art card at the end. That was fun. Alrighty, so it was fun. I got a couple of reverse hollows. I'm assuming that they purposely make the reverse hollows at the end of the stack if you get a reverse hollow. I don't know if those are rare or uncommon or anything like that. I'm not trying to like get these to like make money off of them because I know a lot of the reasons why they sell out almost immediately is because people out there are buying them in bulk so that they could resell them in bulk. Um, but me personally, I just think that, you know, Disney is a really cool place what a really cool place it's a really cool um well i mean the disney theme parks are a really cool place and i've been to them and I'm, I, I love i love them i will never get tired of going to epcot or uh disney world if i ever get a chance to go to the magic kingdom or whatever love magic kingdom but um what's it called i was really excited to see these though because i was like you know what this could be a fun thing to open up on the channel and uh yeah i had a blast with those um any of you guys if you play L lorcana because i believe it is a game that's kind of like uh what's it called magic the gathering or something like that or pokemon's trading card game uh if any of you guys play them oh my god that's the back of the card that design is hot i love that but yeah um if any of you guys play the games and uh you guys want to you know kind of explain overall what the cards mean like be like oh top numbers mean this bottom numbers mean this or whatever that'd be pretty cool but that being said that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you guys so much for coming by and checking it out if you liked it feel free to like and subscribe and i will hopefully see you guys in the next one peace out Bow, bow, bow.